everybody this edition of what a horse my name is jerry williams and i have a co-host his former celebration ceo mike inman hey jerry nice to be here thanks for having I'm me glad you glad you're here glad you're here there um i want for everybody to say a prayer for kara style she's a um, former owner of richard jury she passed away and she will be missed by a lot of people she she's a very fine lady good lady yes she was well, we're going to go to commercial right here. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, Together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now, I tell you, got all got a lot of talent. That hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Welcome back to What a Horse. Um, we got some announcements we're gonna make, and I'm gonna let Mr. Emmon. Uh, okay. Right here. Well, I think everybody uh, knows that it's about time for the uh, trainers' banquet, and it's gonna be a little bit different time this year instead of uh, during December when you have. Uh, a multitude of uh, of uh, Christmas celebrations and yes. parties to go to. Uh, they, I think they made a great decision to move it back to uh, February second and February third. I think it's still at the Marriott. Yes, down uh -huh. at, at, in the Cool Springs, uh -huh. uh, which is a great place to have it and always a lot of fun. I think the attendance will be as good, if not even better, as the weather will break. Yes, and uh, we'll be getting a little bit closer to show season. And the excitement will be there and and. Uh, the time apart from friends have been uh, extended a little longer. Yeah. We're ready to, to uh, get back into the business of it. Yeah, and everybody getting excited about getting back and watching the shows and the horses yes. and everything else. Yeah, and, and getting to see friends. You know, that's, that's one thing that we always say that uh, it's uh, horses that bring us to this 
but it's the people that keep us here. Yeah, you are exactly and, right. And uh, you got friends. I know we're looking. We've already got our tickets. Yes. And uh, looking forward to seeing folks from uh, uh, all over the country that come in for that special event. Yes. And we can't wait for an excuse to to get out and party and. Uh, 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 catch up on what's happened over the holidays. Well, that's right, and everybody bragging on the coat they got coming up. That's right. And, and See who's got the new ones. <laughs> <laughs> got, yeah. Have you seen one yet? And all that. And yeah, so that's, that's right. That that's all part of it, and get the the blood flowing and and the excitement going. You are exactly right on that. You are exactly right. And so, the dates to that thing is uh, February second and third uh, at the Franklin Cool Springs Marriott in Franklin. And uh, if you need more information, uh, call nine three one. Six eight four five eight six six. I was talking to Bill Young earlier this week, trying to get my tickets, yes. and we got them online uh -huh. from the uh, Trainers Association. So yeah. uh, it's real easy uh, to get them, and uh, uh, looking forward to seeing everybody. And I think it's a big weekend that weekend. I think there's a lot of judges. Maybe the judges um, clinic the clinic going on. Going on and yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. Yeah, it, it is, and so it's been with the break. I mean. Folks will be coming up, as you said, looking for those new coats. Coats, yeah. Uh, that'll give them weekends. People are coming in early in the week to uh, travel around their barns. And, yes. And uh, see what's going on and getting getting involved. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's. A, I mean, I think it's a a good time. The good thing they've done is move that thing back. Yes, I, th I think it will be. Well, we're yeah. looking forward to. It. Yes. They've got my money. Yeah. I'm going. So I, so. I'll be there too to check it out. Yeah. So yeah. we're so we're all about that. Uh, speaking of coals. Uh, is there uh, anything special you've heard about so far? They got a few out there. I got a couple that we've been riding is doing pretty good, and I heard of some other um, people. I seen where um, Tanner Burtz had won for Ann Ray, and them was moving on. Yes, good, I've, yeah. I've heard, I've heard yeah. that, and uh, I've also talked to them. Uh, and then they came out to uh, Premier Stables. And yes, some Colts going the other day, uh, a little week ago, and then uh, Mr. Neil Holland from Alabama. Okay. Has purchased a horse uh -huh. and is getting back in it, which that's, is good. That's to a good see deal. Going good back in. So we've in. heard. I, I'm with you. I've heard about yeah. the race. Uh -huh. good, uh, another I am Jose. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, pretty, pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I guess we're gonna go to video right now and see what kind of we're gonna do the. Oh, what's 2012? 2012. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, that was that was a good year. Uh, that was. Uh, my, you said celebration. That was my first year to join celebration. Yeah. Uh, I came in, on in July then, and uh, the celebration and Doyle were gracious enough to uh, uh, kind of show me the ropes and and uh, let yeah. me see how that that side of the rail worked. Uh -huh. I had been an owner and exhibitor since 1985, but hadn't worked it from the inside, and it was good to see that. And this was a, this was a big year. Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a good year for horses right there. I tell you, the ring was full of horses and a lot of good horses in there. Yes, yeah, Texas Joe Black. Remember yeah. Carol? I mean, uh, Kathy's Isis, great horse. And uh, that was the year that uh, uh, Walk Time Charlie kind of walked away. With yeah. Him. That was a real good horse. I'm telling you, he was good. And yeah, he, he not only was then, and he's gone on to be a uh, very good breeding horse. Yeah. Uh, I saw uh, two colts of him last week, videos. I yeah. haven't been out to see him. That looked very promising. That's good. Chad Balkum, you know, was a, he's up in heaven, having a heck of a horse show up there. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh, he, yeah. Was a, he was a top trainer now. Yeah. I tell you, Chad was a real Good guy. He, he was fantastic. And again, uh, so glad his kids is coming in his footsteps. Uh -huh, and doing yep. a real good job. And they're doing a great job, too. Yes. They certainly are. And this is the workout right here. Yeah. And it's on class. I'm yeah, thinking. there's there's Charlie there. Yeah. And Folsom. Steve Dunn. Steve was a good trainer. Yeah. He was. He was the only talented. thing with Steve, he was so always so talkative. You yeah. Never, you could never get a word in his wife <laughs> with Steve. Not being facetious, of yeah. course. He is, uh, we were customers for 15 years with him, and I think uh, he said 32 words in those 15 <laughs> That's years. That's about right. <clears throat> no, but a great guy, great, fantastic horse. Yes. And that was a fantastic horse he had. Let's chat again. I tell you, ain't nothing like going back and looking at these old videos and make you just as excited as it was when you got uh, yeah, to watch it right Absolutely, absolutely. And every, you see everybody there sitting on, uh, standing on their feet, yes. cheering them on. 
it was a big night, excuse me here for seconds. Uh, but, uh, you know, that was class, uh, full, uh, there was uh, 10 places and horses leaving the room without a, without a ribbon. And that's uh, good to see that many out there. Oh, uh, yeah. Of that caliber. And it was an uh, exciting, exciting night. Very exciting class. That gorgeous horse, too. Yeah. And he throws that, too, a lot. So many of his horses are, are that sorrel with the flax man and tail and really wear the bridle. Well, since you say um, Neil Hollins is coming back, that you know them, them three still gonna be back yeah. in the horse business right yes, there. Yes, absolutely. Neil, Gore, Neil still, Hollins, yeah. and Calicut, you know. It's kind of like uh, Hotel California, I guess. Yes. You can check out, but you can never leave. <laughs> check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Well, yes. Uh, I think Neil's been out of it for uh, uh, seven or eight years, but he's back in it, and he got in with a good one. Yeah, what I understand. Mm -hmm. Eleven ninety four. I am Jose. I tell you, this is the exciting part when all them horses come down that chute and they call them one by one. Absolutely. In there and everybody's wondering what horse coming in, coming down that chute. And we tend to forget sometimes because we're here, we see all these horses yeah. on a Saturday night. Uh, so when we, when my wife and I, Karen, started in it in the mid eighties, we lived in Dallas, Texas. Uh huh. So we'd uh, drive up here and see them come through. These were horses that we hadn't seen all year. We yes. just seen them in the publications. And talk about exciting, you know. Oh, oh was, yeah, that is exciting. It's super exciting if uh, you made the, the journey to be here and this is where you planned your vacation and, and committed the time to and to see that just uh, made it all so exciting. And yes. Worthwhile. This is a real good year here, too. Yes. Of course, uh, I'm Jose, one of uh, just a couple of horses that have done it uh, three times yes. in a row, and and uh, quite an accomplishment. He too has gone on to become a, a, a yeah, real a top, real top breed horse. horse. You exactly right about that. That I'm horse right there, Mr. Heisman. I mean, he's still showing to the day. And yes, he is. And uh, um, uh, I've read him a couple of times. My wife's read him. He yeah. talk about a horse that can do it so easily and naturally and uh, uh, he'll just take you for a ride. He, yes. he doesn't exactly need you to do a whole lot up there. He, he just, uh, he's one of those, uh, hey, hold my beer horses. Yeah, here. that's right. It's kind of like, I'll, I'll just take care of all you. Just sit there and try not to get lost. <laughs> he's a fantastic horse and with a great owner now. Yes. Uh, Bruce and Rob McDonald. No, some real him. nice people, I'll and, tell you, uh, super. As we talk about testimonies yeah, to the breed, here he is 16 walk, years old and yeah. still winning world championships. Yes. Testimony to what the breed can do. And Ryder Blue, he was a great horse. Yes. An awful special. It ain't nothing like hearing that crowd get behind them horses That's, and cheering and hollering and stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah, we all lose a little bit of our sophistication. We just get excited. Exactly. Yeah, That's right. right. This is not golf, folks. You know, if you, if you like it, get there, hoop, holler. Don't That's right. They clap. That'll be it. We're crowning the world grand champion for 2013. Yeah, not a big horse, but he went big. He went big, yeah. You exactly, you exactly right. You exactly right. Our grand champion rider. I am Jose Casey Wright. Across the board, unanimous decision of the judging panel. And I tell you, right now, he's blue, he's real good. Way. You know, him, the honors, and a few of them got a bunch of good coats out there that's yes. showing in that ring out there now. Absolutely, absolutely. We enjoy them. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's just funny. You, you, you just never know uh, when there are two or three, but, yeah. you know, who's going to go on and become that next top breeder and, and those uh, um, and they all have a unique way of going, going you, yeah. you, a lot of them you can just tell uh, the bloodline that they're through when you just see the colts you, you guess who the parent is yeah you that's you exactly right I guess he's about one in a while first horse won as a four year old because when he won in 13 he was four when he, yes yes, yes it was. That was one to always see somebody said, well, are they going to step up and try to make a little bit of history yeah. and kind of uh, uh, see who's, who's slated in there, who where they think they might slot. That's always adds to the excitement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This is again, he wanted, you know, 13, 14, and then 15 okay, right yep. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Average Jimmer for that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's had a couple good horses. Yeah, he had some good, good horses. He yeah. have had some good horses. Right a there. couple world championships. Here. You got a Maverick, one that was going to come yeah. on and get in it there at John Allen. Board run, he was a great horse. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, at this time, you was the CEO of this going yes. on. Yes. That's yeah, we were still there, and then they were letting me show up and uh, look at a couple well, classes now yeah, again. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and those were uh, some really exciting times. That nothing, uh, uh, of course, one thing people said what's the, was one of the most fun things about that position was actually Jerry was being in center ring watching the last class. Yes. If, if you haven't been in center ring and watched, it's a totally different you totally exactly right. different outlook. I, I give her a trophy in my honor my, my dad's name yes, Rose doing Bell. that. Yes. And mm -hmm. and we get to go in the middle of the ring and watching that. It's a totally different atmosphere and when you're in the middle of the ring. You get a whole new respect for yes. what mm -hmm. a judge, judge has to do. It's it, it's like to me, I tell you, it's it's like watching in 3D compared to an old black and well, white yeah, 720 right. HP. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's just it's unreal. It's you how, exactly how right. How different it looks, that. the lighting. The LED lights that we yes. installed the mm -hmm. uh, second year or third year I was there, uh, it, it makes everything just jump out at you and the horses look totally different and you get a real appreciation for how difficult that job of judging the horses You are really exactly is. right. And uh, you know, you, you know, it's one thing to sit over the top of the rail yeah. from the outside where you don't see anything in front of you at all mm -hmm. and you just look at the other side and you go, oh, I can't be Yeah, that's no, right. You get down there, it, it's, it's a different deal, baby. It's a, it's a it's big different difference. Because you get to watch one real good and then you look up and he go another good one. Yeah, and, and they're like, coming through and you, it's, yeah. it's. And they're coming so fast at you. Mm -hmm. I tell you, that's a nice horse right there. Yeah, he, he always went bigger than, bigger than he was. You know, I don't know what year he was the best. Sometime I think is the the last year that he was better than he was the first two years. Yeah. Or the first year yeah. he was better than other, but he was a good horse. Mm -hmm. yeah, but he, he certainly deserved it every yeah, single time. He did. That was for sure. Casey worked hard. Him and Michael worked hard on that horse right there. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. it got to be an exciting thing. Uh huh. Well, those are once in a lifetime horses, and to do yes. it multiple times is something I, special. Yeah, I tell really you, it's something special. It's, I, you know, it's very exciting getting up there, getting that horse ready mm -hmm. to go in that big state class. I mm -hmm. mean, that's it's like the Super Bowl of everything that yeah. you're going in there, and you got that one going that last class. And all other classes are fun and exciting, but when you got nah, one going nah, in that nah, big nah, state nah, class, nah, nah. you know, it's something, yeah. it's something different there. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships one world grand championship and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor ordeal. A major win here in the two year old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion. 
minor ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. Welcome back to What a Horse. And we're going to go back to some more videos here. And um, I believe this part of this, I believe you could talk a lot about this horse here that we finna show here pretty <laughs> soon here, because I think you had a lot of interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Honors, yeah, he go, we go back a long way. I'm proud to say that we owned him. Uh, uh, bought him as coming two year old uh, on the second foot, right after, celebra uh, right after celebration that year. Uh, we were looking for a horse for Karen to show an amateur, mm -hmm. and we couldn't find a horse that was already under saddle that we could afford. Yeah. So we reluctantly said, well, we're gonna have to go try to find a two-year-old to see if we can get lucky. Yeah. And uh, uh, we got lucky because he turned out to be yeah. a lot more than just an amateur horse. And, uh, he was uh, certainly very special, almost a... Uh, he was a good horse, yeah, There I he is there. Uh, um, a generational horse, I'd, I'd say, I, I'm, I'm sure he's not the only one, but uh, never got anything other than the first place vote his entire career. Nah, I tell you, that was... Being shown amateur or open. Ball, and, uh, first time I seen him, you owned him, and he was at a coat preview. Yeah. Over mm -hmm. there, Justin Harris had him over there, and they rode him out, they rode him yep. out there that morning out there. That's right. That's, coat, we we bought preview. him yeah. there, and... Uh, uh, like I said, what a lot of people don't know about it was we were originally looking for Karen and and uh, he just takes stride like nothing else. Uh, she was first amateur to ever ride. Okay. We, we wouldn't buy him until she'd ridden him. We both rode him. Uh -huh. uh, they obviously had her show him riding first. I guess they, they knew it better. And uh, uh, she said, to her credit, she's the one who taught him how to eat carrots. <laughs> He was a, I'm gonna tell you, he was an exciting horse now. He was a crowd favorite. Hey, he was. Uh, he was all he went through, and uh, yeah. people certainly enjoyed him. And, and Edwards to this day, uh, baby him. Mm -hmm. to, to, unreal. Yeah, I know every time they come now to Chevyville for the celebration, they'll load him up and bring him down. Oh, people that people want to see him yeah, so bad, him. they mm -hmm. they just. Uh, they just line up out his barn. They they don't disappoint. And, and uh, uh, he's just uh, phenomenal. And talking about all these great horses yeah. like uh, I'm Jose and Walk Time Charlie, they go on and make great breeding horses. Uh, he's definitely fallen in that category. Yes, he has. Uh, he has really done that. And, uh, like we said earlier about you can see a horse and kind of guess yeah. their lineage. You see something with a high head, it's way up in the air, yeah. long neck. Mm -hmm. you, 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 the first thing you say is that not. Yeah, but Mike, you've been in this business for a long time, and you and y'all have been real lucky on horses and getting good horses and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, well, you know, God takes care of fools. Yeah, that's you know, right. That's <laughs> well. But look at that. Yeah. Just, but uh, Mr. I just tell you a little story. I, yeah, I'm kind of well, fawning well, over him uh -huh. so so much. But when he was two, four, he was ever in the showroom. We would just go out a couple times and a week, barn blind. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. is this really something he couldn't uh -huh. believe his stride? Jerry, we measured his stride uh -huh. at, at two years. He was already over 16 head. But he actually, from the, that that right rear foot for the back, yeah. foot, the back toe to the heel up uh -huh. front striding was 13 feet, two inches. Man. It was, we just couldn't believe it. Just couldn't believe it. Uh, he was... Uh, Special horse, uh, uh, one of very, very special out of a breed that's full of special Oh, yeah, horse, special, but yeah. I mean, he was a, a talented I, horse. I tell you, when he go, and when you ask him to go run and walk, you uh, might want well everybody to get out of the way. Man, he, just, he just go, and he went, yeah. and he still, uh, just, it just he had that stride. Try, that was yeah. so long mm -hmm. and, and flew it up front, and yeah. it was just, uh, um, 
I would say was happy to to be there to see him, and of course yeah. to own him was even more special. But he he certainly ended up at the right spot. Yes. And things went as it's supposed to be. I mean, just look at that there. Yeah. Just, just covering the ground so very easy. And again, amongst great other horses. Oh, the horses. horses, yeah. They had a bunch of good horses in that class there. But I mean, you just watch him. I mean, he just come through there. Effortlessly. Yeah. I just, like I said before, I just love watching these old videos back yeah. and come back and look at them. Larry Edwards takes the winning ride tonight for Keith. And he had such a good mouth a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, Larry uh, would show him first way without a curb check. Okay. Because he, yeah, when we first started, we were a little worried about how much was he going to do up front because you couldn't help him at all. Yeah, uh-huh. He come, he just come off the bit, yeah, off the bit, up at him, and just t almost touched to his chin on yeah. his chest, and he just, it just, he just did it. Yeah, and that, I just, he just did it. And a lot of times, Gary, uh, or Larry, excuse me, first few showed him, uh, first way of the ring, wouldn't even put a curb chain on. Him yeah, because didn't want him coming back. Yeah, and put the curb chain on in the, uh, uh, when they were turning around. With your love, your support. World Grand Championship. Oh, man, that's nice right there. Yes. And just like you say, he's in a ring full of other real good, good horses, horses, but I mean, he just stood out. Again, okay, there's just those testimony that sometimes a, a, a big horse does have an advantage. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, he ended up being 17 hands, and and uh, uh, they can just cover the ground. Well, enough of me bragging yeah. <laughs> on, on, on me getting lucky. Uh, here, uh, 2017. Black Maverick Man. became the first uh, uh, honoree name of, of the big old oh, yeah, that's right. Maverick Arena for a few years. He was top horse. Um, I tell you, it's, it's very exciting about that horse there too because that's, I I don't know for sure, but I think that's the only family that all the two son that the dad and the two sons won a World Grand Championship yes. at the celebration. Yes, they are. The Galloway certainly yeah. has set that standard. Mm-hmm. And then uh, John Allen has come and set the standard for winning the most. most yeah, that's right. So, uh, uh, good family. We were honored to have a, uh, a horse with him for a couple years. And enjoyed our time out there. I was very professional. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of like your family, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. generation, generation to generation. Yeah. You know, kind of you're, you're as bad as uh, uh, the Williams family, the Inman family. I can tell people. <laughs> uh, we're living testimony that there's such, no such thing as a 12-step program yes, you in a walking horse right. business. Once you get in, you get hooked, you, you get, get hooked. addicted, you can't get you out. You can't get out. No, that's it. So. You'll try to, but you come right back to it. Well, it looks like it's about time they're going to cut us off and uh, pay the bills here, I think. Yeah. But. Blaze, she's a good rider. Yeah. She's, she's real good with the horses. I hope she can yeah. get to doing better. Yeah. I think we're. Yep. Yeah, no mayhem. And his warm up. Oh, um, this class here was a good class, too. Yes. That was, like you said, Blaze, the first female rider to be knocking at the door in uh, quite a few years. Oh, yes. So he was, uh... yeah, but this, um, but Bill, I'm, I was proud for him in that class because he worked hard that year on that horse right there yeah. and showing him and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that horse and, and the good family there, the Rosberries, the only way he'd be knocking at the door for several years. And yes. He certainly did his time. There's plays again. Take a deep seat, call on your championship contenders and ask them to go in a running wall. It's running wall time, let them all go. Ah, we're looking for a world grand champion tonight. And again, there's a the crowd getting over. Oh, yeah. And you mentioned Blaze, yeah, we do want to uh, wish her the best. best that yes. accident she's had. Uh, uh, she's. Uh, Tough young lady and always a smile on her face. I got to just change some text with her. I haven't spoken with her. We're gonna run up and see her hopefully later this week. Yes. And uh, uh, I know her, she'll be up and raring to go pretty soon. I did text her, believe it or not. I, 
she didn't take me up on it. I mean, uh -huh. I, I offered to go out and break some of those colts for her. I believe you can do that. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm I, pretty I, sure that you can. I, I didn't seen your riding experience. Yeah, yeah, no, I just said I, I think you can do it. Blaze, I'll go up there and I'll break a couple of those yeah. green colts for you. She's she, uh, she's giving one of those little pig, uh, what are they called? Emoji? Yeah, emoji. Yeah. Emo, <laughs> emo, what do they call those things? Little, 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 little smiley face Blaze, on yeah. the crying. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Like she'll pass it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's another old person right there, Jimmy. I mean, he's been one time after time and have a bump. No, we, we will miss. I have him in the ring this year, I tell you. Yeah. It's one thing you know, when you go to a Saturday Night Horse Show, Jim McConnell's going to bring something good in the state. Stay class, that's don't, right. Don't leave early, because Jimmy Mack's going to show you a good one. you so, exactly right. And that was Shady and Black he was showing. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's, there's Matt, just totally fluid and easy going. Yeah. Rodney. Walk, please. Back to a flat wall. Herbert. Yeah, see, there's there's a, yeah. one of these times there where you had what what do you have in here? You got Mayhem that won it, yeah, Maverick that won it, yes, yeah. uh, Masters Razzle and Jazz, Jazz won it. Uh, Cole Chills, who ended up going the next year, I think. Well, we'll yeah. see in a minute. Was reserve and, and uh, uh, before so, so you had a, a class that had multi world grand champions. champions in that's it. right. Mm -hmm. You exactly right. Yeah, there's a, uh, uh, Roddy had Mayhem's number. Yeah. I mean, he just had his number. And that was a horse that won his entire life. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realize this year, is it just talking about how many great yeah. ones were, uh -huh. when they tied the class, it was a tie. Okay. It was a tie when they tallied up the cards, uh -huh. and uh, when the, then when they uh, the the way that system was with the points, it ended up being the call judge okay. that determined the tie. So it, it determined the, the, the winner. So that tells you what level, level of competition right. that mm -hmm. was. But justifiably so, when you had four world, world grand champions champion, yeah, in there, you exactly right. That all eventually got their time, time yeah. under the spotlight. But yeah, that was it. That was uh, the only time I know of, at least for me watching, yeah. that uh, the initial ties uh, were a tie. Yeah. That's why I always thought the call judge had to, if you had a tie, he was the one made. Well, it depends on whether it's a three judge There's system or the five, five judge, judge system. Okay, okay. But uh, so that that's what gets confused. Yes. Uh, but it's. Uh, and. Uh, Please don't ask me to tell you all the differences and how they come up to yeah, it. That's I why know, we trust the computer and those yeah. smarter than me. <laughs> but that's how it was, and it was. Uh, so but you know a lot more about that stuff than I do. No. So I mean, it's. But it was uh, just such a great deal, and that's a big, beautiful. Horse. Oh yeah, real. And great it's horse. a shame that he is not breeding anymore yeah. because it, during his short time of breeding, he's had some real good horses. Yeah. I think. Uh, uh, Mr. Bob Badcock is kind of locked down most of them. He's got two or three yeah. world, world grand That's champions right. by Maverick. He got some, he just he got some good zeroed ones. in there on it. Real good horse. Yeah, yeah, very fluid, balanced. That's what you love to see. I some good owners there too. You yeah, know, they're great. They're great folks. Mm -hmm. They're very good to the breed. Yes. They're like uh, so many of us that. Uh, Look forward to retiring in this part of the country. Yeah. And, uh, uh, for the horses. There's Mr. Jimmy Mack. Now, who's on? Who's he on there? Oh, it's, Jim Mighty. Yeah. This was the, you know, that horse there. Is this the year he won it right here? Yes. Uh -huh. This horse here was kind of the underdog in that class. Yes. And nobody really knew, you know, everybody was, was picking this one, how everybody picked their horse and had the favorite and all that no, stuff. Because he was not the favorite yeah, going in. No. 
No, but, I, I, but at the end now, I tell you, he when you looked up and that come, that he come on him, and I mean he was. Uh, you talk about showman. I remember showman that. Now. That he, was uh, one of the years. I might have been first or second year. Uh, we had uh, the horses stay on the grounds for the championship, yes, with, uh -huh. which uh, did not endear myself to a lot of people. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. I, I just got a lot of grief for that. <laughs> over that. Uh, but uh, look, looking back, it was great for the breed and, and great yes. for the exhibitors and people to see. And I remember that morning, uh, of course, I was still, you know, I was working while I was doing yeah. that. Karen was out there. She came home and she said, I'll tell you what, you better not overlook Jimmy Mack tonight. Yeah. And I said, why? She said, well, he was working him in Champions Arena and just put on a show. It was just everybody stopped and was watching him. And he was just kind of going around the run, and then he stopped him, got up his range, and he just shot him down that rail yeah. one time, just wore, and just wore him out. And he said, it was unreal, people going nuts. He said, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't pull Jimmy Mack. Yeah. And he did. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. did that night. You know, when you go down that little chute there, everybody down there in that little, we call it a little alley going down through there, and everybody down there betting and picking horses yeah. and stuff like that. And I had betting on, the, there's no betting going on those horses. <laughs> I said picking horses. Oh, 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 <laughs> picking oh horses. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now they, That's part of it though, you gotta do it. <laughs> but now, they on, um, but everybody, and then looked up and then nobody went, and then they looked and they said, everybody better watch Jimmy out there. And then, yeah, yeah, hey. yeah, that's right. You don't, and, and it was good. And, and you couldn't have nicer owners. Owners, that's right. Mike Floyd, Mike just Floyd a great man, super, been good super to this guy. industry. And I don't great. care, you know, he's out there, when you show a horse and he like your horse, he'll come up and tell you about it. Yes, you he know, will. He don't have to own it. You know, he'll just tell you how you like your horse or you made a good ride or whatever. You know, he's a real super guy. Yeah, he is. All right, one more time, riders. Take the For a not particularly big horse, talk about a horse with a great back. Yeah, oh, uh -huh. he was just. And, and that horse got some good coaches. I was going to say the same yeah. thing. He's one that. Uh, he has surprised me that from the get-go. Yeah, has had some some really really good horses. Jay Williams on a leash. Yes. Yeah. Well, I didn't get him waiting yeah. his turn. He says, "I'm keep banging on that door till I bust through it." Yeah, Basil Jazz. Yes. Mm -hmm. Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. Was it mm. Bravo? Yes. Very, very talented yeah. horse. Yeah, he's a real good horse. Same sire as honors. Yeah. Jen Amaiti. Yeah, he's not a big horse up by yeah. any means. Jen Amaiti, owned by Mike Floyd of Columbia. Jimmy's up there in that rankings of winning a, a bunch of celebration oh, teams. Oh, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, you'd have to have two, uh, two bushel baskets yeah, to take right. all the tricolor ribbons he's taken out. Yeah. With a great round of applause. Oh, yeah, right in one hand and yeah. picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, 19, what we have here? Mayhem's year. Yeah. Tomcat. Mm -hmm. It's a shame we lost him. Yeah, he's it is. He's a good horse. Always a big crowd favorite. Yeah. Yeah, it's unleashed. I think that was the last uh, uh, out of parole stake horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rodney had his number that night. I tell you what, he he 
just wah, wah, wah. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. not, you know, we always talk about uh, uh, a run and walk well, horse yeah. or, or a flat walk. He was a flat walk horse, horse. Yeah. not a show gator at all. Yeah. Uh, we just flat walk huge and then flat walk a little a bit, bit bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I'm a fan of. Oh, yeah. Yes. Everybody likes a good one. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing about this horse. You know, everybody got their type of horse they like. Better. Some yeah. of them like a ho like horse that go run and walk. Some of them like a, more of a flat walking head shaking. You know, I'm over old school. I like want to sit back flat walk and shake his head, walk real good off his butt, mm -hmm. you know. I said, that's why they have the shows. Yeah, that's right. And I'm, I'm the same way. And that's what makes it part of the fun is that you sit there and argue about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. About uh, what's better. And then you, when you're done arguing, you sit back and say, well, see what the judge says. The judge say. say, yeah, you're right. And you talk about that, you know, that was the Dow family out of Ohio. Then we looked at honors with the McSwain family out of yeah. Georgia. Uh -huh. uh, the Rosberries, uh, their family, they live here now, but they're from Texas. Yes. They had at the uh, I Am Jose, the Woods family is at Mississippi. Mississippi yeah. It's uh, uh, people are from all over the country come here to this little teen town. That's right. Uh, once a year, that's that's the magic of it. Well, this horse business brings so much people like family. We all have a big family. You know, you have your, your spots and your, and your fallouts, but you always get back together at the end. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. Which, you're right, you talk about that, Jerry. We have, we've had some friends come up uh, that would come up to the South Bar School to come, and yeah. the churches would come. And uh, uh, we had one year some folks with, uh, uh, there's, that was a proud day for Rodney, too. He yeah. was really hard. Um, Kathy Zeiss and Prince came yeah. from the East Coast that showed saddle bread. And she couldn't believe we'd go out to eat lunch and eat different bars and yeah. all socialize together and say, well, you people are so different. I said, what's that? I said, well, you, are, we hate each other. Yeah. We wouldn't go ever consider going to dinner so I said, no, that's not how I said, we on the ring. We, we want to kick your butt yeah, as bad right. as anything. There's yeah. no doubt about that. But when it's over, we're going to hug you. Hug, that's we're right. Gonna, we're going to cuss you when you're in the ring, right. and we'll hug you when you come out. And that's because well, that's different. And that is what I think separates us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're family now. Yeah. It is. We're all competitors, but yeah. we're still family. So 2020, you had Masters, Razzle, and Jazz. There's special horse again. He was yeah. go back to that time where he had four in that world champion. Yeah, Each one right. kind of went up the ladder, uh, not because it was given, but you earned it. And uh, the Ridley family having this horse there with John yeah. Allen, uh, and they're from North Carolina. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a good story about him. But you know, we talk about breeding. You know, yeah. we talk about breeding. I, I think the mayor has more to do with it yes. than the stud. The mayor of Razzle and Jazz is also, was also the mayor. So, of course, Razzle and Jazz yes. is by Master Jazz, a producer world grand champion. <laughs> She's a Dumas walking mayor. Mm -hmm. She also is a dam of Epic, yeah. which was by all, all America, uh, Cash is All American, uh -huh. All American Cash, excuse me, that won so many world grand championships uh, for the uh, Davis family, yes. Megan Davis. Uh -huh. uh, she won as an amateur three-year-old and then four times world grand champion. Yeah. Show pleasure. And that damn, you know what her next cult was? What? By honors. Uh, the- uh, When the rocket, that was it? That, that won the three-year-old this year. The beautiful bay horse. Was rock? Is it Rocky Top or? No, no. It's uh, but not if if I hadn't started that, I'd yeah. remember his name. But won the uh, uh, three-year-old class this year with John Allen, three-year-old world grand champion. I know what horse you're talking about. I know because that man has three or four good coats. As a matter of fact, that yeah. mare have a coming to yo. Mm -hmm. That's a real good coat. I think Mike Hammer got it up there. Yes, he does. 
but uh, she just, you just never, but I mean, he, she's produced a world grand champion out of three different stuff. Yeah, and she had another horse that he wasn't the world grand champion, but he's a real good horse. I showed him some, was named Shaq. Okay. A big black horse that was a, a, um, a real good horse, but that's what I'm saying, but she, that's what you call a broom, Every yeah, because she had I, I've called my, I, I remember it. seeing, uh, uh, Drew Gray started the the three year old. Yeah. When he was coming two year old, and I called Keith and said, "Whatever you do, don't sell that mare." Mm -hmm. And he says, "I'm not going to." <laughs> <laughs> but this horse, he, we just never got to see. Yeah. What kind of breeding horse he was going to be since we lost him. Yeah. Rising Jeff. Honky, uh, is it honky tonk? I think that's what. I that's think it. That's what it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, at my age, it's one of those things. I'll yeah. wake up at three in the morning <laughs> and I'll jump up and I'll be calling Jerry. Jerry, yeah, I got. I got. I got it. <laughs> but now it was a good class right here. This horse here, that. Oh, minor OD, you had a, yeah. a, a commercial on earlier. Reserve there, mm -hmm. Tomcat, cold chills. Now he was one of those, just a flat walker. Oh, oh, yeah. And huge. Big, big boy. Real nice horse. And they're great folks. And of course, oh, he, he in the Rocky nice. Top, their daughter, <laughs> yeah. uh, Lily won with this year. They are some super people now, mm -hmm. I tell you, real nice people. I had a, the honor to meet them when they first got in the horse business. I had mm -hmm. a little horse call um, that I had for them that we showed, mm -hmm. and I mean, real nice people. But I, we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five, to where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here, to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. More of What a Horse coming up. Thanks for joining us back with Water Horse. We're going to go back to some more of these good videos we've been watching and listen to the expertise right here, Mr. <laughs> Emin right here, educators a little bit right here. <laughs> it's it's 21 here. 21, okay. Well, this is... Uh... First of three years for Justified Honors. There's Tom Cat while he was still here. Jose Revival, who's yeah. second here, and it was second in 2023 as well. That's right. Mm -hmm. Willie 
coach. Yep. Now, Justified Honors, he's a very special one. Now, there's, you, you talk about people that sitting and arguing. Uh, they always say that every sire produces one better than himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we talk about how great honors certainly was, and I don't think many people would argue that he was, yeah. that he wasn't better than his sire, yeah. Tidelist. Actually, Tidelist was pretty unknown yeah. when honors came about. He went much of a, he hadn't done much breeding. Yeah. But this justified honors has now done it three times, so I guess you'd have to sit there and uh, pull the uh, whittling stick out. Well, I'll tell you that. Is that honor like, thing? Yeah, I, I, just by honors, I like him now. I think he's, this, I think this one, he was a four-year-old too, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, it was a four-year-old They were sitting in the center. That was a big thought uh, about uh, whether or not they were gonna go, and, go up and make that step up. Yeah, uh-huh. And of course, another huge, Huge horse. Yeah. He's just a monster. I tell you, he's, he's, he's nice now. Mm hmm. And of course, then the old, uh, it's time to start this year, so now here, here's the question. Yeah. Are, uh, Jim and Lisa. Going to try to go for four in a row? Well, Something that's yeah, never, that's, ever been done? Yeah, you're right. You know, there's a couple of three, three timers, yeah. three peats, mm -hmm. but there's never been a four peat. Four peat, yeah. You're exactly right. You never know. That's the mystery. Yeah, like, that's what we got to start talking about. What's going to see? We might have to be laying those bets, I mean, picks down. Picks <laughs> down. But whether or not that's going to happen. Yeah. But, uh, but you, can you imagine this horse is still pretty young? Yes. Well, he's six or seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's seven. Uh huh. And then what do you have coming into that division this year? You know, you got a half brother named yeah. Cavender. Yeah. But, yep. That's oh right. my that's, gosh. That's, that's oh, what thing. are we gonna do? Yeah. Now what a thrill, and, and for him to think. Wow, how can this be? This can be so great. This is two years in a row I've done this. Yes. Fast forward to 2024, and he's done it four years, years in this a row. Mm -hmm. What a thrill. You know. And of course, he's, John Allen's one of the few people I've known that'll ever talk more than Steve does. Yeah. yeah they're <laughs> talking about two peas in a pod, and John Allen go, Yeah, well, I guess I have. But you know, they so subtle because it don't never get to the head. You know, a person no. that won that much, you know, they all think they got the big head and they know everything, but you talk to John Allen and he just is little. He no, he'd rather talk to you about his cow. Cow, that's than, right. Than he would. Mm -hmm. But that's a tremendous animal there. And again, of all these we've looked at, yes. uh, I believe the owners here are the only family from Tennessee, let alone Shelbyville, that's out right. of all these we've looked well, at. You're exactly right. We've gone from 2012 to 20. 23, 11 years, 12 years, and all that time is only one family. Yeah. The moms is good for this industry. Yeah. I They're, tell you, now this year right here now, I tell you, it was a good class, and I'm glad just about on it, but now at the end, I thought that about one most exciting. A lot of people thought it was kind of, I don't know, showing off, but I thought it got the crowd big oh, into it. No, hey. And I, and I like it. I, like I said, this isn't golf. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's not, oh, uh, let's, yeah. no, let's get out and have fun. Right. And those guys that were good spirited. But again, that's right. trust me, I know Casey well, I know Jonah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They wanted to knock each other's yeah. teeth out. Yeah, that's right. But when they got off, they're smiling at each they're other. They're having that's fun right. and saying, hey, let's enjoy this thing. We're blessed to have it. Let's really just just have fun. And all the people enjoy it. I mean, yeah. Casey's what kind of champion? Oh, he's, uh, that's a, that's now he's a, been a reserve world champion. That's right. That's a, that's and he's a got some good colts on the ground. He's, he's, he's one that when you get it, you're going to say, well, I thought he's only won it before. That's right. But now he's but now he's a super horse. Casey's got a real good horse.
And you know, he ended up leasing them, ended up buying that horse right there. The uh, um, the horse, ho the third horse that the horse that Link showed. Yes, Dixie Rose. Dixie and Rose. she, oh, did she make? Did she show out a tunic? Oh Two, my yeah. gosh! Mm -hmm. My goodness! Got him in a great division. Now this was this was exciting when people yeah. go riding and get the crowd behind. Them. Yes, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. You that crowd yeah, absolutely. Them. You know, there's no time limit on it. Look, yeah. the case of this. That horse is good right there now. And you can't fault him. I no. mean, you can pick him. You can see that's. The, yeah. You can do. But I like a horse that's the cop back in the barrel like yep. that and sitting, you know. Oh, he's proud going. Yeah. Well, both of them horses, yeah. good Casey's horse and that horse. And they're a little little gif different going. Yeah. But you know, that's why they make chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, you're you exactly know, right. Uh, and I, and I, I enjoy both. Yeah. And looking at my stomach, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> but, now, but there, there's no basis. He didn't, he didn't deserve it. No. And to think that they're still, in case both those horses, and all those horses, out of all what they were doing, still had the energy to go yeah. out there and still look it's that great. That great, that's right. I was worn out just watching. Yeah. I tell you, you, you talk about with jumping, I think I was too, because I was yeah. jumping and looking yeah. and, and everything else. And a horse like that, when he's all done, he just says, well, where's my grain? My grain, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Something you can be very, very You're proud of. You are exactly right on that. Good class. Mm -hmm. Good class. I tell you, that was, that was very exciting right there. That right there got my heart back pumping just about. Yeah, so let's, let's get ready to go. Well, that, watching all that's what it's about. Now we're going to start talking. You, you yeah. said the, 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 per, uh, the top three this year has got to be. Justified honors if he comes back, back and the whole yeah. thing is, well, is he going to come, come back? back yeah. Well, no, he's already won three times. Well, but you can make history be the only one ever do it four times. Yeah. What are you going to do? He's talking about, yeah. yeah. Casey, could this be Casey's year? Year, that's right. Well, what about Kavanaugh? Mm -hmm. You know, he hadn't, he hadn't been beaten in two years. Yeah. And he was he was awful special. The crowd was going nuts over him. What about him? Well, yeah. again, we won't know till that last week. You, you don't ever know. You got Tim Smith will be back showing. Yes, he you is. Know? Visited him the other day. He's moved into the, yeah. the new place that made their move over to. They're here in Shelbyville or out there at Bell Buckle. Yeah. And he's excited. And, uh, Knox is there with him. and it'll, the, So Equinox is going on. It's oh, yeah. a new location. That's, so, I think that's a good team right there. Yeah, they do real good. Yeah, and uh, so... Uh, that gets started. Plus, like you said, all the Colts coming up. Yeah. You got the banquet coming Coming up. up and you got by lives. then we got to. Uh, and of course, I'm holding you to. You know, you got you got to let me know if there's something special that that I, uh, I need to come look at. Oh you yeah, yeah, we will. No, get get the high dollar yeah, people. Can't care, care. But you know, you just you got one of those also rants down there that, you that exactly, might have a potential. You, you exactly need to call right. me. Well, we finna get ready to the end this segment, but I, yeah. I'm really excited. And I tell you, you can talk about these horses and it get exciting, but. Absolutely. Y'all have a good day, and thanks, Mike, for coming. And Enjoyed it. Thank you for having it. me. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunger down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.